Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to go through the very start of um, light uh, or electromagnetic radiation. Now, um, light is basically electromagnetic radiation, uh, visible light is EM radiation, ultraviolet light is EM radiation, so is infrared light, so is uh, so are x-rays, so are gamma rays, so are uh, cosmic rays, um, uh, TV signals, radio signals, microwaves, they're all the exact same thing. And the way they're set up is by making charges move. So if we can make charges uh, accelerate or vibrate backwards and forwards, what we're actually going to be able to do is set up some sort of um, EM radiation coming out. So if I can make these two things wiggle about a bit, in any sort of direction, it doesn't really matter. So we've got an electron, we've got a proton, and what I'm going to do is, is make them vibrate. And um, hopefully you can remember by uh, remember from the electric fields part of the course, that if you have an electron or a proton, so any sort of charges, um, they have electric fields around them. So a positive charge has an electro electric field going radiating outwards, um, a negative charge, so here's our electron, whoops, has the field, oh here we go, that's made a mess of things, going in towards it. Okay, so just ignore my huge big blurry line thing there. So um, out of positive into negative. Uh, what we can therefore kind of see is if I make this electron stationary, that's what its field looks like. However, if I make this electron move, um, where my dot is here, um, the electric field at the moment is kind of going that way. But if I make the electron move, so now the electron's here, the field will be that way. If the electron keeps moving, the field will be pointed down that way. So what I've actually done by making that charge move, um, positive charge, it's the same kind of deal. Uh, but it'll just be in the other direction. If I make that electric charge move, what I'm actually doing is making an electric field move. And by having it go um, from one point past you know, doesn't matter where it goes really. What I'm actually doing is making an oscillating electric field. Um, <clears throat> so every single time these things move, what you're actually doing is setting up some sort of oscillating electric field by making it move backwards and forwards. So if it's trapped inside something, so if this was say, I'll get to it in a minute, if inside a filament of a light globe, um, your electrons and your protons are kind of trapped, and they'd actually be wobbling backwards and forwards, so there's this oscillation of the electric field because of that wobbling. So this electron might move from here to here to here, and then back again. So at this point, now field changes direction and size because it gets closer and further away and all that sort of stuff. So we have this oscillating electric field. Now remember that the magnetic field is perpendicular. and that magnetic field is also oscillating. So electromagnetic radiation is essentially two um, fields oscillating at right angles to each other. So remember the right hand rule, um, or the right hand rule, depending on what the camera's doing at the moment. Um, and they're always at, perp uh, always at right angles to each other, but they're moving in the same direction. So if my, get another wobble marker, this was my electric field going up and down, orange is my magnetic field going side to side they would both be coming into the screen or out of the screen in terms of you guys. So it would be moving in that sort of direction. They're both going in the same direction, even though one's going up and down, one's going sideways. The waves are both propagating through space in the same direction. Now, the frequency or the color of this electromagnetic radiation um, is equal to the frequency that this thing's oscillating at. So if our electron or our proton is wobbling back and forwards at 1500 times a second, we're going to make a wave that's got a frequency of 1500 times per second or 1500 hertz. Okay, so um, as this electron or this proton or this uh, groups of charges are moving up and down, up and down, up and down. They're creating an electric field that's going up, down, up, down, up, down at the exact same rate. Um, if we were to make this in a antenna like this, so I'll talk about this part and this part here. If I was to make this in an antenna by having um, an alternating potential difference get running up and down this 
thing here. If I made the bottom of this antenna positive, my electrons are going to accelerate downwards. If I make the bottom of this negative, they'll go upwards. So there's this um, stream of electrons that are going up and down this antenna, which means that they're going to make a vertical field um, because it's up and down this antenna. The electric field won't go sideways, it'll only go up and down this antenna, which means that we'll end up having this sort of um, wave propagate out of that antenna, kind of like this, um, at a speed of c is 3 by 10 to the 8, so speed of light c, um, 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second, and our wave is going to go along like this. Now, we talk about uh, that wave being plane polarised because its electric field is only in one direction, one direction, not all of the directions, which means that its receiving antenna can only be in that one direction. So imagine if I had my electric field going up and down like this, but my receiving antenna was like this. So the electric field would go up and down that receiving antenna, but that's not making electrons flow to the I guess the pickup will detect it down this end. So in order to make a current change or a voltage change down here that I can detect and that's where my waves and all that sort of stuff, I need the field to be moving that way, not up and down like this. Up and down does nothing at all down this way here, uh, down this end. So if I send this wave um, across like this, what that electric field will do, so the electric field is the wave going past my antenna, it will start to make the electrons in this antenna move up and down as well. So if I have the direction of my field is up at the top here, remember electrons go against the field, the electrons will start to run downwards. If I had um, this part of the field gets to here, then my electric field would be that way and at that point, and then my electrons will start running up and down. So all of a sudden we set up, or we generate I guess, um, a positive or a negative um, terminal down the bottom, or a positive voltage, negative voltage, positive current, negative current. Um, which is an alternating potential difference, um, which is received as this radio signal. The exact same frequency is here, it picks up all the information, it's, um, lots of energy generates this and it spreads out radially. Um, not much energy reaches this one, so you, sometimes you need a booster depending on where you are. Now city and country TV um, networks or TV stations understand this idea so that the city ones might be orientated vertically, the country ones are horizontally, so they don't interfere with each other. Okay, so we don't have this constructive or destructive interference thing happening. Um, that's in a video coming later. In a filament, what we end up doing is having um, a coil of wire like this inside some sort of globe like this, and what we're doing is passing a whole bunch of electricity through this globe and it heats it up. Um, it heats it up so that it glows and it glows because it's giving off visible EM radiation. All right? it's, it's also giving off some uh, non-visible which would be infrared. It's probably giving off a little bit of non-visual which is uh, ultraviolet but a lot of what it's giving off is also um, this visible electromagnetic radiation. Now the colours that it's giving off, Roy G. Biv, because some of the particles in this filament are vibrating really, really fast. Uh, so it's kind of the, the Biv end of the spectrum. And some of them are vibrating slower, so they're closer to the red end of the spectrum. And you have this mix all through and it ends up looking kind of like white light. Um, and that's how a filament will actually um, give off light, I guess, and, and a fair bit of heat, obviously. Um, now, the reason the particles in here vibrate so fast is because they get hot. Hot things have lots of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is literally the measurement of average temperature of a thing. Um, kinetic energy is the energy of movement, and they wobble back and forwards really, really fast, um, bound by the nucleus that's nearby, other electrons that are pushing and shoving. So all this scattered sort of um, up, down, sideways, diagonal, all this sort of stuff. Um, all of these give off uh, different speeds, different directions, a whole bunch of scattered light, lights up a room, and it's really, really um, inefficient, but also <laughs> incredibly cheap to manufacture, and also very, uh, very handy. Okay, um, in the next video, we'll talk about how this process and this process impact on um, this idea over here, this interference. Okay, thanks guys.